What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 video and today we are looking at a particular player and that particular player is a man that has been on absolute flames for Arsenal this season. It is second in form Mesut Ozil, a player that has been grabbing assist after assist after assist. I'm pretty sure he's broken some sort of record this season, he's been getting that many but um, we're going to be playing him into centre forward today so he can get some assists and add some goals to his game as well which is what a lot of people say he should be doing but um, if you can do enjoy this video make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and your comments and feedback are always appreciated in the comment section down below. This is now I think actually as well for anyone that's interested going to be my settled camera setup. We're going to be using this camera over here, sorry if I just knocked the mic there, this camera over here for like uh, introductions and all that kind of good stuff and then we're still going to be using, I've actually got another camera now over here which I was using before but I've sort of upgraded it a little bit. We're going to be using that one when we're playing in the game. So uh, this is going to be intro camera, that is going to be the action cam if you like. But um, this is the team that I'm using Mesut Ozil's second in form card in. You can see we've got him playing that four star role. We've got players like Antonio in form Maris. I think that's third in form Maris. We've got in form Payet. It's a really good looking team. And if you look at some of second in form Ozil's stats, because we can now see the whiteboard of dreams on this HD camera for the first time, you can see it's got some pretty incredible stats. We're talking 97 vision, which is absolutely freaking incredible. That's like binocular style vision. We've got 92 short pass, which is also unbelievable. We've got 93 ball control, outstanding. 89 dribbling, which is also incredible. And it's actually got 81 long shots, which isn't too bad. So we might be able to release the Kraken when we get into the edge of the box area as well. But um, we're going to play a couple of games, hopefully get some goals and some assists for the German playmaker. Let's find our first game, lads. Let's get into it. Here we go then lads, game one for Ozil and we are coming up against a full Serie A team it would seem, yep, oh no, a lie, he's got a BBVA side on the left, but other than that it's completely Serie A, Marata, as we all know if you watch the 50-50 road to glory, is a dangerous, dangerous player, Conor Plianca as well, also a bit of a beast, by the way, sorry if you can hear the wind in the background, it's fucking incredibly windy outside, hopefully the mic's not picking it up, but it's mental how, uh, how blowy it is out there at the moment, but first game, with second in form Ozil, let's cause some damage lads, let's get some assists and goals, let's Let's go. Another man that's been having a great Premier League season. Can we spin inside his defender? Oh my god, that dribbling for Mares. That dribbling for Mares. Ozil drop back. Oh my god, this is good one. Please. <sighs> Ozil. That, uh, th those are the kind of chances he needs to be taking, man. That was a fucking sitter. Mares did so well. Debushi. He reserves. So we're going to cut back onto that stronger left foot. Let's crack that. Oh, what a goal, Mesut Ozil. There's a bit of lag in there, so I didn't think that was actually going in. We did a lovely little scoop onto that stronger left foot. And I said at the start, 81 long shots is nothing to be frowned at. And he bangs one in right there. He's got Messi on the picture. When the fuck did that happen? I'm sure that, I'm sure that was Messi. He must have subbed him on. What a hit that is. Please don't tell me I missed Messi when he we did the lineups at the start. My God, that would be slightly embarrassing. But Mesut Ozil, second in form. That is what he needs to do in real life. Add more goals to his game. And it's only taken, what, 10 minutes? Fucking 14 minutes to get one here. Oh my god, now he's bought on Ronaldo for Morata. He definitely bought on Messi before now, I can confirm. Well in. Don't take none of that bullshit. Mares. Oh my god, Mares. That is fucking beautiful. First time. Oh, I'll tell you what, that wasn't a bad effort. I shouldn't have really gone for the chip there, but that was fucking unlucky. Spinning side Mesut. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my god, he's dribbling, lads. He's on point. Let's do it across. First time, Antonio. Oh, it's unlucky. It should have been a goal, but I'll tell you something. Second in form, Ozil, lads. He's dribbling. He's outstanding. It's a gift. Surely this is 2-0. Oh, my God. He's finishing, though. Ozil's finishing's not all that. I can tell you that much. He's long shots. He needs to be shooting from outside the box to score with him, I think. Oh, Mares. Mares is on one here. Drop it back. Surely this is 2. Get in there. 2-0. I don't even know who that is that's putting him, but that's absolute fucking magic. From uh, Riyad Mahrez from the corner. Loved a little scoop across there. Sorry, ball roll across the defender there. Drops it back. And then Debushi is that plants it in the corner. 2-0 up, lads. Come on, Mezard. Put it in. Top bins. Top bins. Top bin. Oh, my God. That wasn't far off. Fucking hell. The keeper was scrambling then. Feed Mezard. Feed him. Fernandinho, please. Oh, it's a great finish. It's on his weak foot as well, lads. That is 3-0. This guy... He's absolutely awful. He's bought on Mateus, the legend. He's bought on Ronaldo. He's bought on Messi. And he just can't get anywhere near us. Ozil, I said it at half-time. He's been absolutely outstanding. He does finish the chance this time. And it's on his weak foot as well, which is saying something. Because I think he's only got a two-star. But that is a tidy, tidy finish. That's 3-0. I can see this guy quitting pretty soon. Oh, that's really well played. Surely we can't score a header with Ozil. 
Oh my god, he was diving header from Mesut Ozil. You would never see that in real life, I don't think. Good save by the keeper as well. There we go then, lads. That's the end of that game. We come out with a 3-0 win. Absolutely dominated that opponent. Ozil was outstanding. That diving header towards the end was absolutely quality. That would have been amazing if that had gone in. But he got on his stand. Two goals, I believe, there. And he was just like, say, his dribbling was outstanding. His passing was outstanding. Did he get an assist? He didn't get an assist, he put people through many a time, but we just couldn't take the chances. He could have easily had a hat-trick as well if he could have taken a couple of one-on-ones. But um, I think we're going to play one more game, see if we can repeat what we did just, and then we'll end the episode, lads. So let's find opponent number two, and hopefully it can go just as well. Here we go then, lads, the final game of this episode on Urzel. What's he rocking up with? It's a very average team, actually, it's got to be said. Um, all French, no one really standing out there. Um, I think that's... It's not Ben Yedis, or it's Gamero, isn't it? I think he's got up top with that really fast player from Leon Be Bovo, I think his name is. Lots of pace in there, but still nowhere near as good as the team we just came up against. So hopefully we can beat here. Wayward blinders. Mm, let's see how we get on. Fuck. Kevin Gamero winning the header there. Didn't expect that. This guy's actually really good. He gets to the byline. I never know whether he's going in or out. And uh, Gamero's nodded in, lads. 1-0 down. We need to step up here. Oh, still see. Oh, he's missed again. Oh, Antonio. Oh, it's unlucky. Oh, fuck, as if that's happened. The ref's deflection helping him out massively. No! Fuck! Oh, as if. Deflected off the ref and it just completely helped him out, really, didn't it? 2-0 down, this is crazy, Ozil just missed another one and one, his finishing has got a lot to be desired lads, even though he's a great player no, 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 no oh my god, what a finish I swear to god, I don't know who half of these players are but they are tearing me apart on the fucking counter attack, it's mental, I know some of them are but is that that Besser guy again? who the fuck is he lads? turns the defender, look at this for a fucking finish fair play to the lad, great goal oh my god, please, please, this is a chance this is a chance Ozil still going, still going Ozil, Ozil the dribbling of dreams, cut inside please, thank god for that, we got one back, 3-1, some really nice dribbling there and then a great finish from Mesut Ozil, he should have had a couple more in this game to be fair, but that just shows what he can do because he's so hard to get off the ball sometimes because of his balance and dribbling, look at that for uh, for technique, drops inside, finesses it in, he should have had a hat-trick in this game made of those, missed a couple of really good chances, go to Mahrez. come on can we spin inside here? Oh, Morris has got lucky. Play him in, please, please. Oh my god, how is he not scored again? Fucking hell, the lag here. Doesn't matter though, because that's a great ball out wide to Antonio. Drops it back in. And again, please. Oh, we got it back to 3 2. Get in there, lads. We've Second half of this game, we've uh, we've upped the game a little bit. We should have really been level at least if Ozil could have taken a couple more of his chances. But at 3-0 down, I thought it was going to be a bit of a humiliation. At least we've pulled back some dignity here. Not sure to who's put it in in the end. Ozil's great ball out wide originally. We play it across and then absolutely hammered in by Fernandinho it was. And there we go, that's full time. Just after we scored our second goal. Really disappointed in that game to be honest in Ozil. He had loads of chances and couldn't quite take them. And um, overall I think I've got to say, although I think he's passing and his dribbling is fantastic because of his one-on-one -on -one finishing I wouldn't recommend playing him at centre forward I think he's definitely more suited to a camp position I paid 207k for him as well so he's not particularly cheap and for that money you can get someone like uh, Informed De Bruyne even Informed Cazola who are both very very good and a lot better at finishing Ozil still an absolutely awesome card I'd say his dribbling is better than uh, De Bruyne and Cazola's but it's just that one-on-one -on -one finishing really really lets him down but still absolute joy to use this player like I said at the start if you did enjoy the video lads make sure you throw a big thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new around here, comments and feedback is always appreciated in the comments section down below. Hey, you all have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video, lads. Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.